Hi everyone, this is Ananda and this is Ramaji and we thought we would give a holiday special this evening um, for everybody and the reason being is because we get a lot of students, especially recently, talking about a pressure in the heart chakra, this, this area of the heart and because the heart chakra is just about the most important chakra that we're all working with at this time in the world, we thought that we'd give you guys some wonderful suggestions how to keep the heart open, how to keep yourself open and to keep yourself vulnerable regardless of what you may perceive going on around you or, some, or how you may be triggered by other people to close your heart. The trick is to keep that heart chakra open and remain open. You know, when people are working on the heart chakra, you know, they tend to work on the front. You know, most people, when they think of the heart chakra, or they're experiencing it, feeling it, especially in relation to somebody else. It's like, I feel open here. But, but in fact, the back heart chakra is the key to having a healthy uh, heart chakra that you can keep open under any circumstances. Uh, there's a book called Hands of Light by Barbara Brennan, and she shows clearly uh, that there's a back heart chakra. But even in that book, she doesn't make clear the, the value of the back heart chakra in terms of love, both love of others and love of self, and how to keep the heart chakra open, you know, even under difficult mm -hmm. circumstances. I want to say that one of the things that truly has saved me over the last couple of years is using the back heart chakra. Because with any heart opening, it, the tendency is to feel very vulnerable. And sometimes that feeling can be very scary. Most people aren't walking around with an open heart. They're walking around with armor around their hearts. This, and that, this is why the feeling, the pressure is here right now. And it's mainly because we don't have enough self-love. So this is a way to open the back heart chakra and the front and keep it open. And in that way, if you do feel triggered or if something comes up, you learn how to breathe, you learn how to open up and you just allow the feeling, the trigger and whatever that feeling is or was to just be there with you. In other words, you breathe through the negative feeling, whatever it may be, and keep your heart chakra open while doing so. And this way, it kind of, the feeling starts to disintegrate, disintegrate slowly but surely. And we're going to show you how, which is really fun. Well, when you, when you get hurt, the tendency uh, that what seems right is to contract around that pain. But the actual solution is feels counterintuitive in the moment, which is to expand and stay open. Okay, in other words, vulnerable. And uh, if you do that, when you do that, then the pain subsides quickly and it's gone, it's over. So what we're gonna show you today is how to do that. It's not just breathing, you know, like, okay, now I'm gonna breathe, you know, here. It's actually opening, choosing to open the back heart chakra, which is down be uh, below the shoulder blades, roughly corresponding to the front. So if you go straight through the body, then back here, that's the point where you're going to want to draw in love or good feeling. Uh, you could imagine a rose back here or an angel touching your back or, or you know, whoever, whatever would mm -hmm. signify love for you or just feel that you're breathing in and fill up with love and spread it through the whole body and then exhale. Yes. Well, there's two versions. Yeah. I mean, there's the breathe in and then breathe out, you know, like you're breathing in through the back and then out through the front. So it, it's like an open window. So your, your body is like an open window in through the back and out through the front. Another way I think about it is I'm taking for myself, breathing in through the back, opening up like a wide volcano through my back, and then sharing. Taking, sharing, taking, sharing. And you just do this for a few minutes or for as, as long as you need to. And what starts to happen, you don't feel yourself closing up. You feel yourself rather remaining open or opening up. So I recommend that people do this whether or not they're being triggered every single day. 
a lot of the times I recommend an exercise to students. And I know, I think I did this during the chakra um, uh, series that I did with the ladies, is that every evening when you've, after the course of your day, you spend five minutes reflecting and you think to yourself, well, um, I could see that I was triggered three times today. Maybe I had some judgment. I had a little bit of self-doubt. Maybe there was some self-loathing. It really doesn't matter what it is. Feel the feeling as it arises, whatever that feeling is, judgment, uh, self-loathing, anger. And then what you do is after you felt the feeling and acknowledged it, put it into the heart chakra. I love myself with my anger, with my self-loathing and with my self-doubt. And breathe, open up, breathe. Take, take it in, let it dissolve, and then share your love. You know, what we're used to is, is going around with an empty cup, an empty can, and we're going, okay, do you have some love? Because if you give me some love, then I can give you some love. And that just doesn't work, but that's what people are doing because they don't feel filled to overflowing with love. So the secret to successful relationships and to healing the heart and being able to keep it open is to open the back heart chakra and take in the love first for yourself because we haven't gotten enough love none of us have so we so we first heal ourselves physician heal thyself now i happen to like uh, i i recommended to some students a couple of months you know because if people will actually feel selfish taking the love but it's exactly what we need mm -hmm. so say okay fill in you know, breathe in love through the upper back, through the back heart chakra, fill up like a balloon, fill your body like a balloon and just spread it all through your body and paint your body with it, with this love. And, and you will find it feels very ecstatic. It feels really, really good once you get the hang of it. Mm -hmm. So you just do that selfishly. Of course, you, you let it out and you can say, okay, I'm going to let this out to the world. But eventually what happens then is, then uh, what Ananda is talking about then gets very easy and becomes logical. I, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I just filled up. I'm good. Okay. Now overflow, mm -hmm. overflow. And, and that's the idea you love from overflow. So it's a way, it's almost as if the universal ocean of love, the impersonal love, which is unlimited. And that's why you can take and take, there's no limit flows through your back out through the front and it's as if you're an open window in the heart chakra and this love is just flowing mm -hmm. through it has your personality on it because it came through you mm -hmm. but yet it doesn't really feel like it's your love or you're trying to love anybody mm -hmm. the love is loving the people mm -hmm. through you and this is a beautiful place to be and then of course it really helps with all your relationships and of course it's very very healthy and it really it contributes to your happiness mm -hmm. This is a big secret, people. This is a really big secret. If you go on the internet, you'll find almost nothing about this. Mm -hmm. This could change the world because, mm -hmm. you know, this is the secret to actually experiencing as much love as you want. Love yeah. without limit. Real love. It's also the secret to not allow yourself to react in ways that you often would react unconsciously. Because the minute you feel that need to react to something that may be triggering you apparently from the outside, instead you look at it as an opportunity to just keep your heart open. In other words, I don't really have to react negatively to any of this. I can love anyway and keep my heart open. And this feeling that a lot of students have been complaining about is this tightness in the chest, this need, this, this something wants to blow open, that's the heart chakra. Because we're living in times now where love really is the, the weapon of the future. The only way we're going to heal is by loving ourselves and help others heal is truly by giving them the space to heal and loving them anyway. So Ramaji and I just felt that this would be a wonderful present for the present that each one of you can use over the holiday season. And hopefully this will help you guys feel the love that you each deserve and to share your love with all the, your loved ones and your friends and your families um, over the holiday season and forevermore. Um, yeah, I, 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 just, I just feel like I want to demonstrate it one more time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like what you just said, um, 
just so it's absolutely crystal clear. So, okay, I got my feelings hurt, let's say. I got my feelings hurt. So there's a ten you feel that tendency to contract or tighten that Anand is talking about. Okay. Now I'm going to open up, expand my chest, breathe in deep, breathe in through the back, fill up, oh, let it go. You know, do it again. Let it go. Remember, not just the front, through the back, feeling the up, you feel your back expand. About five of those, you know what? It's different now. It just yeah. starts dissolving. Another wonderful tantric exercise is to do this with your partner. In other words, you both sit together and you put your hand on the back. Right. So you put the hand on the person's between the person's shoulder blades in the middle of their back so that they become aware of that space while they are breathing. And you just sit there with them and you take turns. Each of you just kind of opening up the back, breathing in the love that is really all it's love. It's, it's unconditional. It's an excellent suggestion. It's that's unconditional. Yeah. And then you breathe out. So that's a moment that you each take together as a couple, really to just sit in silence and allow yourselves to really just, feel and share that love with each other. And of course, most importantly, though, it's always with yourself. So, um, and you can conclude that kind of, uh, you know, working with the back heart and then face each other and then mm -hmm. put your hands on each, on each other's chest. And you will find that having opened the back heart will enhance, mm -hmm. you know, maybe eye gazing, you know, these are tantric things to do, mm -hmm. staring in each other's eyes and mm -hmm. hand on the heart and, breathing together, mm -hmm. you know, but this back heart is the key. As that opens, you will find there's no limit to the amount of love you can absorb mm -hmm. for yourself and receive. And then there will be basically no limit mm -hmm. to what comes through you that you can share. Yeah. So this is our gift to you 2020. I've been talking to Ananda for years and, and, you know, about sharing this and, and uh, here we are. So yeah, thanks Ananda, because this is kind of, Ananda kind of, kind of, I don't know what we wanted, to say. we wanted this to be a holiday it gift. It was your idea to make this a holiday yeah, gift. Yeah, and so. please, people, please share this with anybody that you feel may need, um, knows about chakras or is interested in opening the heart chakra, or even if someone who has never heard of it before, it really is a wonderful meditation. It's a wonderful thing to do, and it really does help because we've had the most exceptional results with people using this opening. It's of also really, chakra. really healthy for you too, because it takes pressure off, uh, off exactly. the chest and the heart area. So it actually is, is physically a healthy thing mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. So thank you guys very much. It was wonderful talking with you today. Have a happy holiday and we will see you all soon. And we love you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.